All right, here we'll do an example where we'll try to calculate the uh, equivalent impedance uh, seen across the terminal. So here we have three items, a resistor, a capacitor, and an inductor. And we'll find the equivalent impedance seen from right this point right here. <coughs> the circuit is running at 4 radians per second. That's the angular frequency of the uh, AC circuit. Okay, so now first step. So the impedance of the 3 ohm resistor is basically 3 ohms. Capacitor impedance is given over by 1 over j omega c. Uh, 1 over j can also be written as negative j. So we can write this as negative j over omega c. Uh, omega is given as 4 and c is 1 sixth. So we end up with the impedance of the capacitor as basically 1 and a half j, negative j, 3 over 2, or we can say a negative j, 1 and a half ohms. Similarly, the impedance of the inductor is given by J omega L. Uh, we are given uh, omega is 4, L is 1 fourth, so we get J 1 ohms. Now we have the, imp we have the individual impedances because of these different uh, elements. Uh, these three elements are in parallel, and basically since they're in parallel, the equivalent impedance seen from here is uh, given by this formula right here. Uh, 1 over the equivalent impedance is equal to recipro sum of the reciprocals of the individual uh, impedances. So in this case, uh, we'll write down 1 over GQ is 1 over 3, that's the impedance of the uh, 3 ohm resistor, 1 over minus j 3 over 2, that's the impedance of the capacitor, and plus 1 over j 1 ohm, which is the impedance of the inductor. Now, from here, next we'll, let's see, 1 over j, right, 1 over j is negative j. So right here, if you look at this carefully, the 1 over j is negative j. So 1 over negative j is, po uh, is basically positive j. So when we flip that, we'll get uh, 1 third. This translates here. So this is 1 over negative j is plus j. Three, 1 over 3 over 2 is 2 thirds. So basic algebraic manipulation right here. 1 over j is negative j. So I've written it all in this form. Now, now I can add the real terms, which is just 1 third. And the imaginary terms with this minus 1 plus 2 thirds, which leaves us with negative 1 thirds. So 1 third is the real part, and imaginary part is also 1 third, so minus j 1 third. So that's, so far, uh, that's the uh, 1 over j eq. So what we want is the equivalent impedance. So let's combine these. And this we can uh, write down as 1 minus j divided by 3, since both of them had 3 in the bottom. Uh, in phasor domain, 1 minus j can be written as square root of 2, uh, and the angle is basically minus 45 degrees. Uh, so square root of 2, angle 45 degrees, and 3 is basically 3, angle 0 degrees. And since phasors, the, when we're dividing one phasor by the other, uh, the magnitudes just basically divide, so we end up with a combined magnitude of square root of 2 divided by 3. Uh, when we divide the angle of the top, subtracts the angle up the bottom, so we end up with uh, 1 over g equivalent equals square root of 2 divided by 3, angle of minus 45 degrees in that sense. Now that's 1 over the reciprocal of the equivalent impedance that we're asked, and here we're asked for the equivalent in impedance, so equivalent impedance is basically this flipped over, so 3 over square root of 2, 3 over square root of 2, and when you flip the angles, we end up with a positive 45 degrees. That's the phasor representation of that impedance. Here is that same impedance in Cartesian coordinates. If you want to put them back in Cartesian coordinates, you can leave them in the phasor domain uh, as well.